Hello, in this video we're going to be discussing the most popular futures contract in the entire world. It's known as the ES futures contract. This is the S&P 500 futures. So the futures for the S&P 500 index. So let's talk about this and some of the things related to it and will involve some mathematics as well. So first of all, this is very liquid. So what that means is that it is very easy to buy and sell this. So if you're trying to get into the investment, as long as you have enough money to purchase one contract, you can buy uh, one contract. Um, likewise, um, you can get out very easily. So very easy to get in and out. Not all investments are that way. For example, if you were to buy a home, you know, um, then you would want to sell your home. Maybe that takes you know, some effort. You can't just press a button. Um, so very liquid, very easy to get in, very easy to um, get out. It's also very leveraged. And I think that this is another reason why it's um, very liquid is because it's very leveraged. Let's say the price of the futures contract is 4,800. Well, what is this worth in dollar value? Well, you basically multiply by 50 and you get $240,000, right? So $240,000. So if you buy one contract, you're in command of this much money. This basically represents um, equities, um, stocks in the S&P 500 index in some sense. Um, so if you think about that, uh, because it's leveraged, well, if you believe that uh, in order to uh, make money, you should have money, this allows you to make a considerable amount of money uh, because you can buy this, you can buy one contract, uh, and I, I, I don't know how much you need, but let's just say it's about $12,000. So for about $12,000, uh, you can buy one ES contract and it's worth that much. So that, that's pretty insane. So 1% of this is $2,400, right? So if you do 1% of 240000 that's $2,400. So if you buy one contract and it goes up 1%, um, in theory, you should make roughly you know, $2,400. So that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. And now 1% on 12,000 is a much smaller number. So you see it's very leveraged and that's why it's so popular. So the mathematics matters here, right? Because the mathematics is the reason that people trade these. Who trades these? I, I don't know, um, but I know they're widely traded. Uh, I guess institutions, people, um, I mean, the, there's all kinds of, you know, the, the volume, the volume is insane, right? The volume is, is crazy, right? Lots of volume in the ES contracts. So it's very liquid, very leveraged. Um, a tick is a quarter point, so it moves. So one tick, so the way it moves, so something that's interesting about futures contracts, uh, and this is really interesting, is that they all use kind of like a different numerical system, like the way they move. Like this one moves in quarter points. You know, if you look at treasury futures, there's fractions involved, right? So the, there's a fractional notation that is involved in the pricing. So um, all kinds of different types of mathematics, uh, which I think is uh, quite interesting. So one tick is 0.25, and that's equal to uh, this the value the value is $12.50, okay? So um, if it goes from 4,800, or let's just say it goes from 4,000 to uh, 4,025, and you bought it at 4,000, you're up $12.50, minus commissions, so like $2 and change or something. So uh, you're up already like 10, just a slight move, right? You might say, oh, maybe you could take advantage of that through some like type of computer program. There's people that do that, right? There's uh, all kinds of um, ways to trade and invest and, and make money. I'm not saying this is the way to do it. Um, this is just an example. Now, if you move up um, another half a point, a quarter point, you'll be at 4,050. So that's another 1250. So you see what's going to happen is when you move up a full point, so one point, it's four times this, right? What's four times this? It's $50. One point is fifty dollars because it's four times twelve fifty, right? So twelve fifty plus twelve fifty is twenty five dollars, right? And then so twenty five plus twenty five is fifty. So one point is fifty. That's how you can find the value. That's how we did that at the beginning. 
So that's how it moves. That's how it trades. So um, there's there's different ways to trade this. You could just buy it. Um, you know, or you you could sell it. Um, so that's something that people do. Um, that that's something you can do. Uh, futures are very different, by the way. You know, if you actually decide to ever trade futures, you should definitely do your like your own research and all that stuff. Um, they don't use regular margin. They use something called span margin, which is uh, better, I think. Um, but the, the brokerages have their own rules, and they can do whatever they want. Like they can raise margin requirements. So just be respectful. Um, don't don't over leverage. Um, but yeah, so interesting. It's the ES futures contract, um, the most popular one. There's another one, by the way, it's called the MES. These are the micros, these are new, and these are better, um, I wanna say for, for, for regular people, I don't know, like you, for these you need to have, uh, I mean, you need to have a lot for one contract. For this, uh, it's, I think it's like 1,200, that's like a tenth. Um, so instead of 50, it's one point is $5, okay? That's basically how we can talk about it. So the same thing re representing the S&P 500, except one point is $5, right? So uh, so that's just going to be five times 4,800. It's gonna be $24,000, right? And it's gonna probably gonna cost you around $1,200 or so. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Uh, that's roughly what I'm assuming. Um, I'm just gonna write it. But I'm pretty sure it's roughly around there. Uh, again, is it going to depend by brokerage? So it's roughly a tenth of the size. These are very popular. Um, these are called micros, um, and, and a, lot of, a lot of people trade these. But you see all the mathematics, right? Everything here uh, is is all about the numbers, percentages, uh, how things move, and there's a lot more to it. You can trade options on these products, and that's where you get the Greeks involved. Um, you get some, you know, there's the Black Shoals, and all that stuff, um, which is which is quite interesting. So ES Futures, I just wanted to make a short video here to show you what it is in case uh, anyone uh, was curious. Um, uh, I noticed there's just, there's just not a lot of content out there on this right now. So I thought, let me just make some more like um, futures content, but like with mathematics in it, with numbers in it, with, with you see calculations and uh, different, different ideas. Um, until next time, uh, good luck, take care, keep doing mathematics.